Hi, I'm Lalit Vasist and I welcome you all on my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy. Today we are going to discuss a very important theorem of signal processing known as the sampling theorem. But before uh, discussing the theorem of sampling, I will tell you what is sampling and what is the purpose of uh, doing this process of sampling. So what happens in sampling? In the process of sampling, we convert a continuous time signal into discrete time signal. So what does it mean? Here, this is a signal okay this is a signal and the time axis let's call the signal denote the signal with it and uh, here i will uh, sample the signal with the help of sampling theorem so how does this look like the sample signal is somewhat of this form this has been cut into samples so this is a sample signal I am denoting the sample signal with ST here any continuous time signal is a signal that uh, is continuous in time it means uh, it has certain value at every time instant okay so it is continuous in time so if i cut the continuous time signal by into some time instants at some time instants and uh, then it will not be continuous in time it will have uh, certain values at for, uh, at fixed points in time it means there will not be value for each time instant so it will be converted into a discrete time signal so this is a discrete time signal so the sampling is uh, basically used to convert any uh, continuous time signal into a discrete time signal generally after the process of uh, sampling we do another important process known as quantization actually quantization is is a process to convert analog signals into digital signals so what are analog signals? Analog signals are the signals that have infinite number of values in any time interval. Okay, but the digital signals are the signals that have certain number of values in any time interval. Uh, for example, binary numbers are the numbers that have only two kinds of uh, two types of uh, levels that is zero and one. So it is a type of binary. Uh, signal is a type of digital signal having only two values another kind of digital signal may be a signal having uh, values like uh, 1 0 2 and 3 and uh, again 1 0 2 and 3 like this so only the 1 0 2 and 3 values are uh, repeated again and again so it is not having infinite number of values only certain levels are present so it is a digital signal so to convert any analog signal into digital signal we first convert that uh, uh, if it is continuous in time analog signal then we will first convert that continuous time signal using sampling into a discrete time signal okay then after converting it into a discrete time signal we will do the process of quantization in the process of quantization we will cut that uh, uh, discrete signal into certain levels by having certain levels uh, by drawing horizontal lines okay so in that process we will just round off that uh, values that are nearest to a level okay if certain value is um, near to any level then we will round off the nearby values to that level so we will have a certain number of levels of amplitude okay and, and uh, hence we can say that the analog signal 
has been converted into a digital signal. So this is the process of quantization that is uh, followed by the process of sampling. So now we know what is sampling. Now it's time to understand what is the sampling theorem. So the sampling theorem is we can state the theorem of sampling as a continuous time signal can be completely represented in its samples and then can be converted back okay if the sampling frequency is greater than or equal to the twice of the maximum frequency present in the signal that is fs is greater than 2fm so what does it mean it is saying that in sampling theorem we need it says how to sample any signal okay you cannot just simply cut the uh, disc, uh, continuous time signal into any number of uh, samples because if you are not following that uh, theorem of sampling then you will not be um, able to convert that uh, retrieve that or you can say reconstruct that signal back into the continuous time form okay from its samples so to con uh, so to convert that uh, back again into its uh, original form uh, without any distortion or without losing any information you need to follow the sampling theorem so it says that if you want to convert any continuous time signal into discrete time signal then you need to uh, have a minimum sampling rate a minimum sampling frequency so what is that frequency if any signal has uh, that is to be converted into that is to be sampled has uh, many number of uh, different types of uh, frequencies okay it has uh, various kinds of frequencies then you will see what is the maximum frequency present in that signal to be sampled and then we will calculate we will take twice of that maximum frequency present in the sample and now our sampling frequency is just should be greater than or equal to twice of that maximum frequency present in that signal that is to be sampled so fs is what fs is the sampling frequency okay it is the notation for sampling frequency and fm is the maximum frequency present in the signal that we are going to sample so this is an important theorem and used extensively in the signal processing so as i have already told you that for converting the continuous time signal into discrete time signal sampling is used okay this is done by using sampling theorem it is essential to take sufficient number of samples to completely represent a signal by its samples okay to reconstruct a signal without any distortion okay or without any overlapping okay so to reconstruct the signal back to its original form from its samples we have uh, i have already told you this so this is all about the sampling process how what is sampling what is sampling theorem what is quantization why do we need uh, the sampling uh, sampling process and uh, why we need to uh, follow the process of sampling why we need to follow the sampling theorem okay to so that we can reconstruct that signal without any distortion back into its original form from its samples so this is all about the sampling process friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it and uh, see you soon in the next video till then bye bye